Hello everyone, my name is Alexander Kabaku and welcome to ALB, the place to trade. For Monday the 25th of November 2019, the Asian shares staged a cautious rally on Monday in the hopes of some progress in the US-China trade dispute. The positive economic data from last week also provided support for the global equities and the US dollar. The Nikkei was up 0.7%, the S&P 500 added 0.2%, while the Eurostox 50 gained 0.6%. On Saturday, U.S. National Security Advisor Robert O'Brien said an initial trade agreement with, with China is still possible by the end of the year, though he warned Washington would not turn a blind eye to what happens in Hong Kong. The comments add to worries that a Chinese crackdown on anti-government protests in Hong Kong could further complicate the talks. Furthermore, it's been six weeks since the Phase 1 deal was agreed in principle and there is still no deal in place. And with the next round of tariffs of approximately $156 billion on Chinese goods scheduled for the 15th of December, signing the deal before the deadline would be key, or at the very least seeking to postpone them to provide negotiators more time is suggested. ECB President Christine Lagarde on Friday called on Eurozone governments to strengthen domestic demand after a, after a global trade war brought a decade of ex export-driven growth to an abrupt end. And with last week's EU data showing a decline in the manufacturing sector, which is now spreading to the larger services sector, this poses a worrying sign for the global economy. Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell sp speaks later on Monday and is expected to underline the steady outlook for rates given the better economic figures. The dollar and export-focused currencies found support on Monday as positive signs for the U.S. economy and upbeat headlines on U.S.-China trade talks boosted investor confidence. The euro was off at 1 spot 10.20 on Monday, having breached chart support at 1 spot 10.40, while the dollar edged up to 108 spot 76 against the yen. Sterling rose by 0.1% to 1 spot 2847 after British Prime Minister Boris Johnson, whose Conservative Party leads in opinion polls ahead of the December 12th election, promised to bring a deal to leave the EU to Parliament before Christmas. Gold was flat at, for, at 1,461 spot 20 per ounce, restrained by the bounce and the dollar. Oil prices held near two-month highs, helped by expectations of an extension to OPEC plus production cuts and hopes of a trade deal. WTI rose by 13 cents to trade at 57 spot 90 a barrel, while Brent crude firmed 17 cents to trade at 63 spot 58 a, a barrel. In light of the news that we received through uh, thus far today, the focus of the day will remain the U.S.-China trade talks, and any further developments that we do get from uh, from from these reports will further strengthen the optimism um, that is that we've currently seen in the Asian markets, or potentially bring about a further weakness and pessimism, which could then potentially affect. Um, the other markets such as gold in which we've seen the prices decline or see uh, prices uh, move higher in the equity markets such assuming if uh, positive more positive rhetoric is comes from the trade negotiations between the US and China that will bring us to the end of today's daily brief good luck and good trading